What's going on everybody? This is the erroneous one with a new Kingdom Hearts Unchained X video. Uh, today, since I have a day off, we're going to see how high I can rank up in the Coliseum uh, right now. Uh, the event is going to end a few hours early due to maintenance happening on the 31st. So I thought, since I had the time, I'd just jump into it real fast and show you guys what I'll be doing to get ranked higher up. Um, right now we are ranked at... 1461 so that's kind of interesting um i did this i did a quick check a few minutes ago before i started the video and i was actually ranked at um 457 so it looks like and that was <laughs> maybe like four or five minutes ago so it looks like people are indeed um pushing pretty uh, hard right now in the coliseum since so it's going to end which is no real surprise i mean that kind of just happens um towards the end of the month people start making pushes for the coliseum rankings so let's see how far we can get real fast. Um, so I am on round 65. It's going to be the two Waverns and two Shadows in there. All of them are single targets. Um, so this is my setup right now. Um, I might change it out. I probably actually will change it out. Um, I do like the defense boost on my Rax Metal right now. But, 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 okay. So I'm going to try it with this setup real quick right now. Um, the Rax Metal for the zero cost and the attack up. Um, Illustrated Sword there just for the um, attack plus prize plus ability. Uh, Alice to get rid of the strength increasers for the Waverns because they do not need that. Um, Mickey as my main damage dealer and Minnie as my healer. So let's see how far I can get up into this one. Minnie does have a new um, poison plus on her right now. So that means that the poison ability has a chance to go off at anything I do. Be it a tapping, a swiping, or even her ability going off. So that's awesome. And you get those from the new avatar boards. Uh, which is why they're actually worthwhile, in my opinion, this one time. Um, usually I won't buy the Avatar boards too often. But for those Sass Ability Pluses, I did go and buy them just for that. So there's the first Wavern. Right, I'm going to yeah, tap here. Alice to get rid of that ability on him. And Poison on him. Awesome. Even better. So Alice and Minnie both have a Poison Plus on them as well. So double the chance for Poisoning. Always want to poison if we can. 46k, not too bad for only one ability booster there. And then hit there. Alright, so see, even without that um, defense boost or the strength increaser, they're dealing about 1400 damage at max to me, um, which means they would have been dealing about 3000 damage to me per hit. The other one there um, has a chance to hit me for, uh, what was it, about 2000 damage um, easily without the strength enhancer, so these guys do pack a wall up, unfortunately. It's just no fun. Tap, I did get some gauge back there, which is great. I mean, all the gauge, all the better. Poison it again. So you can see the poison building only lasts for one turn in this case. Um, but with two of them there, I'm not too worried. Knock them out there, and for the heal. There we go. Yeah, still hits pretty hard. And tap. More gauge back, which is great. I mean, need that. Tap there and Mickey. To knock him out. There we go. Alright, so there's that one. I worked out pretty well. There's this guy. First chance here. And then tap there. Tap there. There's poison, which is good. Tap and tap. So there, hit. All right, got a lot of poison. He's your friend. No poison at that time, though. That was disappointing. And he did a thousand damage to me as well. It's just not good. I need all my health. Again, no poison. But defense boost did go off at times. That's better off. And there's a poison that time. Alright, so I'm going to walk in there with 36 in health and 12 gauge, which means I will be using mini here just to make sure I survive. So there is the Rax Metal tapping there. No attack price plus, unfortunately. Alice to remove. And nothing there. Mickey to deal the damage. And Mini to heal me and deal poison. It is poison. Awesome. 
Yeah, see, that one was dealing again 1,500 to me as well, so it's kind of crazy how much damage these guys um, actually deal. So I need my attack price plus. Did not go off, unfortunately, so that's not good. Poison again, that is good. So this is going to be my last round to hopefully get off and finish him off. Because he still has two bars left, and this is going to be my last heal. Unless I get really lucky um, somehow with my... Okay. Alright, come on, Sora, please proc. Alright, you do proc. He gives me one gauge back. Still not enough to heal, so I'm not sure if I'm going to survive this round, unfortunately. Hopefully I do. It is poisoned. And the poison saves me. Alright, so there we go. Um, that is the round 65. That was kind of tricky, actually. Dealing with that one, needed that poison to save me, which thankfully I had two of in that regard. Alright, so we're going to jump three rounds. Alright, so round 66, search ghosts and hook bats. They are speed based, so we're going to walk in there for the first time with our treasure trove set up. See what we can do in this one. Sadly, I don't have enough um, sins yet to use my uh, newly pulled SP axle, but that'll be a uh, priority pretty, pretty soon. So those two right there. Let's do Sora. He does go off again as well, which is good. Gives me some of my gauge back, which is always nice. Swipe there. Swipe there. Swipe there. Hmm. I'll, I'll swipe. See what I do. Not bad. Okay. That wasn't too worrisome. So swipe, 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 and there we go. So I got most of my health back, and I'm at, back at 16 gauge. Um, Sora will go off again. Again, I did get attack price plus, which is great. So I'm going to refill my gauge to max. Awesome. So swiping here, and now I don't feel bad about using my Mickey. Definitely got like two hook bats. Ooh, he's a big one. So I will use Hercules here just to knock him out. Or almost anyway. Wow, quite, that's quite a bit of health with him. Uh, tap there. Almost knocked him out. Deals 2600 damage. That's a big chunk of damage. And not a lot of health gain back either, so I need to be careful here. Alright, so these guys do have um, times two strengths up on them, so that's going to be an issue. Mm -hmm. Sword does go off attack price plus, so I'll get some more gauge back, which is always a great thing. Back at 15. Swiping, Mickey. 30k. So I can't survive two hits, so what I'm going to do is use Hercules on one of them. And then utilize my side. His attack boost 2 does go off, which is awesome. And he does finish him off. Wow, yeah, dealing almost 5,000 damage <laughs> 11 times will do that. So there's that one. What's next here? Alright, so we've got dark plants and ice plants and fire plants here. Which means I'll be using my Lady Luck. So my Lady Luck is going to have um, Riku on it. It is going to have Rax on it. The new Ventus Metal I just pulled today. It's also going to be here, so let's see what he does. Um, my King March 2 Riku there. And Sephiroth bringing up the rear for me. Alright. Oh, we are going to hit first, unfortunately. And I did give him a strength up, so we, we definitely want him dead. There's that. Hmm. Well, you know, I haven't seen him go off yet, so I'll go ahead and use him real fast. <laughs> definitely a cool animation. Um, and swipe again to knock him out. There we go. Back to full gauge. Not bad. 
didn't do much to me, thankfully. All right, so here we go again. If they're gonna give me that much gauge back um, per go round, I'm okay with that. Using a little more of my um, gauge than I would initially use. We'll use Ventus again, back on this guy. Wow, man, that's and that's damage without any kind of um, guilt on them too, so that's really good. This guy is leveled up though, so yeah, I'll use Riku here real quick. And then tap for Sephiroth. Okay, it's 13 gauge. That's enough to take this guy out. Here we go. Wow, okay, this guy has a lot of bar. A lot of bar. Riku and Sephiroth. Okay, Sephiroth does pop, which is great, and knocks him out. Awesome. Yeah, right now my speed base is my strongest setup, um, especially with the addition of that Ventus. All those were one round triumphs. It's pretty good. We're gonna skip three rounds. And we are now at a Wretched Witch, a Possessor, and a Possessor, um, all in level 180. And I have 9 of 16 gauge, so I do need to go back and get some gauge real quick. So I hope you guys will bear with me for that one. I'm just gonna refill my Keyblades real fast. So we're gonna jump back to love Mission 425. Where Master Ava is and that chest that sits there. Let's exit out real quick. Skip that. Because the chest here gives me 16 um, gauge back real quick. So there's that one. Give up. Okay. Begin again real fast. I guess I could have gone into um, one of the missions as well, too, on top of getting the gauge. Like any of the uh, part three of the Adamantite challenge, or just give you um, a chest with a six gauge in it as well. But since I'm already here. Alright, let's see. Who else needs to get refilled? You do. And this is the glamorous life of having to go through and do the A costume challenges. Every now and then you do have to go back and refill your keyblades up a gauge. Alright, one more time maybe. Uh, well, one more time I'll do anyway. Don't want to bore you guys too much by watching me go back and forth and just refill SP gauge. Not the most exciting thing. Okay, so back to the quest now. Coliseum, I'm over here. We are see how high we got ranked up again. Not bad, so we jumped about 200 spots. We're at 1246 now. But it does mean it is going to be pretty tight over here right now. Moving up. Alright, so back to my Lady Luck Keyblade, and here we go. Alright, only the Possessors. Thankfully these guys don't have a lot of defense, so I might be able to swipe my way to victory after this. Yeah, no problem. So that's an easy deal with. No problems there. And a refill gauge again. Same as this one too, I'm sure. These guys going off. Swipe and swipe. All right. So now here comes the challenging part of this one, which will be the Wretched Witch, and it does have an extra six bars on her. So the Wretched Witch is a little more annoying because she'll do one of two things: she will poison you, or she will gain a bunch of health back for damage she deals to you. So hopefully we'll be okay with that. Let's find out. Alright, I have 
Ventus go off on her. Go, Riku. Go and Sephiroth. All right, so she still has three and a fourth bar left. She shoot, so see, she has gained um, quite a bit of bar back right there, which is not good. Hopefully, I can knock her out this round and uh, not have to deal with her having to poison me next round or gain any of my health back, because I'll be out of gauge at that point in time, unfortunately. All right, so she's down out of the extra health. Ventus will hit her now. Down about three bars. Ooh, and I'm out of gauge. Not good, not good. Um, Sephiroth does not proc, unfortunately. Okay, what's she gonna do? Poisons me, unfortunately. But I'll take that over her, keeping her health back there. Hit there. Since Rax is free, can always go off. Be my saving grace in this one, I am sure. Hit, hit, and got her. Okay, so there we go. Um, I probably, um, probably would have lost that one if it hadn't been, um, for the new Ventus medal and um, the Rax medal there. There are other ways you can get a pass it, of course. Um, have a medal there to denigate status effects, you know, get more defense boost in there, so on and so forth. Um, but my medals are just set up for pure, uh, pure power right now. Let me go further than that. Alright, so now we got a shadow, a large body, and a large armor. We're going to utilize this setup right here, which I think will be okay. Only two AOEs, but we have a healer in, in Mini there, and Mini does deal poison too as well, so... Hopefully that'll be okay. Seven of these guys here. Which health them. Alright, so those little shadows have quite a bit of... Quite a bit of, um... Health in them, and also it seems like defense slightly too as well. Because they are still have over a bar left. I'm not sure if I can take them out with Sora. I'm not sure if I want to try because of the downing, but we'll go for it anyway. All right, so he does knock him out. That's the only plus out of that, which is pretty good. Now I have a large body to contend with and a large armor to contend with. Both of them are groupings of enemies as well. So I'm going to need to take everybody out in one go if I keep on using my final form Sora, which I want to do. And again, I do have many sitting back there. Um... Also to offer healing. Which I'm definitely going to use this time. There we go. And... Yeah, I'll use my hag to... Finish him off. So 14 gauge walking in here to this guy. Plus healthy in there, that one. Alright. Sora... Not bad there. Um, I will use Roxas this time as well. And Mini to heal. And the Hag to go off. And finish him off. Alright, so there's that one. Not too bad. And all uh, one turn triumphs as well. Pretty good for that. Let's skip a few more levels there. Alright, cool. So, that will be part one of my Colosseum Climb. I'm going to end the video here. Um, I'll probably post a part two and maybe even a part three um, in a bit. Uh, and I'll be taking on the Red Bandits at round 74. So let me know what you guys think. Um, how are you guys doing in the Colosseum? Where are you ranked at? Um, where you think you guys can end the rankings at? What setups you guys are using to get past things? Um, I, I know a bunch of people use the uh, Olympia Keyblade with like different statuses on their um, medals. Um, Always here to see what you guys are going to be doing. So let me know your guys' thoughts and what you're using. And uh, thanks for watching.